I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on algebra of permutation. All the best to all my IB students who are taking a test tomorrow. The question here is find n if p 2n plus 4 comma 3 equals to 2 over 3 p n plus 4 comma 4. Well you remember the formula for p and r is n factorial over n minus r factorial correct so we have to use this formula and find the value of n okay so let's rewrite using the formula 2n plus 4 comma 3 could be written as 2n plus 4 factorial divided by 2n plus 4 minus 3 factorial so that is the left side on the right side we get 2 over 3 n plus 4 factorial right so in the numerator we get n plus 4 factorial the denominator is n plus 4 minus 4 factorial now <clears throat> let us try to in the second step we will kind of expand it let me write this as 2n plus 4 factorial over this gives us 2n plus 1 correct that should be equal to 2 over 3 we have n plus 4 factorial over n factorial now let's expand this so we get 2n plus 4 times 2n plus 3 this is n. Take away 1, right? 2n plus 2. And then we can also write this as 2n plus 1 factorial divided by 2n plus 1 factorial, right? On the right side, we get 2 over 3 n plus 4 times n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n factorial over n factorial. Now from here n factorial and n factorial cancels and here we can cancel this. Now to solve further you will notice that we have 2n plus 4 and 2n plus 2 so you can factor out 2 right. That is a key step here. So if you factor out 2, you get 2 times n plus 2 in the first term. Now here we'll just keep it as 2n plus 3. Again we can factor out 2, get n plus 1, right? Equals to 2 over 3 times n plus 4 times n plus 3 times n plus 2 times n plus 1. Now let us cancel the terms which can be cancelled from left and right side. Correct. So you are left with 2n plus 3. You can also cancel one of the 2's. Right. Now we'll actually cross multiply. Multiply 3 by 2. So we get 6 times 2n plus 3. And on the right side we have n plus 4 times n plus 3. So let me expand this. So we get n square plus 3n plus 4n plus 12. Right. So that is what we get. Now we have a quadratic equation. We can we'll use this space to solve it. Okay. So we could write this as 6 times 2 as 12. So let me write this as 12n plus 18 equals 2 so we'll actually use this space okay now here we have n square plus 7n plus 12 bringing them all together we can write this as 0 equals to n square plus 7n minus 12n plus 12 minus 18 so that gives us n square 12 minus I mean 7 n minus 12 n is 5 
n and here we get minus 6. So this can be factored. We are looking for product of minus 6 sum of minus 5. So the two terms are minus 6 and plus 1. I mean, this is zero. Okay. So that gives you the solution. So, so we're just using the space. Okay. So one solution is n equals to six. The other one is n equals to minus one. Now, clearly n equals to minus one is not valid. So this is the right solution. Is it okay? This one is, it cannot be right. So from the restrictions, you can always see that n has to be because these terms should always be positive correct so from all these terms you can say that n has to be positive right so so that is not possible and therefore we do get a solution and that is n equals to six correct so this is the solution for the given equation well i hope you understand what we did here so once we simplified it, the key step is right there. You could take two common and then you could cancel few more terms, getting a quadratic equation. And here we, from this place, we went to that place to solve it. Okay. So that is how you could actually solve such equation. So I hope the steps are very clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. So what you can do is you can just check for n equals to 6 if it really works. Thanks for watching and all the best.